My name is Teresa Turner. Um, I'm Director of Marketing and HR for Articad. I joined the company originally some 30 years ago. Uh, my husband had started the business and it, it was a micro business, very small. There were just four people in the business at that point. We're UK based uh, and we have subsidiary companies in North America, Republic of Ireland, South Africa and also some distribution partnerships in Aust Australia and New Zealand. Articad produces software uh, primarily for kitchen, bedroom and bathroom design. Applications operate online, visualizers, virtual reality um, and also room planners and stylers and configurators and we also produce um, pricing software, uh, business management software for kitchen, bedroom and bathroom retailers and manufacturers. So the company's positioning is designed to help you sell. Uh, so our software, our products, our services, the delivery of those services is all designed to help customers to sell. Our primary product is CAD software and our CAD software is used by a designer uh, to allow them to present the design concepts and ideas to their customer, which is normally a consumer. So they're, they're able to open up our software, easily generate a 2D design which automatically uh, generates a 3D design. Um, they can move the items in items of furniture uh, around very easily, change materials, colors, flooring, walls, furniture. So very easily and quickly configure a very attractive design. And from there, there's an option also to use virtual reality with or without a headset. My name's Alex, I'm the Marketing and Operations Executive here at Articad. I started my journey here at Articad in 2017, um, straight from school working in the customer support team. I then progressed into marketing and now I uh, dive into the operations side of the business as well. Metrics and analytics are important for any business, especially for us when we're trying to constantly enhance our customer experience. Um, and being able to measure things like uh, the amount of customers in and out of support for us the amount of customers that have raised a technical ticket, everything is, is really important. Now with analytics, it's so comprehensive that it, it honestly astounded me when I first saw it. Um, Teresa always mentioned uh, to me about how we, we need to dive more into analytics and I kind of took, took the plunge one day, went into it and I was like, wow, like there, there is a lot here. Something that I absolutely love about analytics is the integrations with each kind of application throughout Zoho. When you integrate that, it comes with ready-made reports. Um, so it means that I don't have to build a report on the top salesman in this kind of section and I, I don't need to build a report on how much money we made on this product for example because it's already there. So the most used kind of reports and analytics and metrics that are important for businesses Zoho's already built into Zoho Analytics. It's super easy to be able to drill down into the kind of finer detail of reports. Uh, so yeah you might have this entire report on how much kind of this subsidiary uh, has, has turned over and everything like that. But being able to drill down uh, using the filters in terms of date, by person, anything that you kind of want to drill down into is absolutely possible. Our data was stored absolutely sporadically before. Spreadsheets here, documents there, reports being generated left, right and centre. Analytics just is that central hub um, where we can generate not only generate the reports but have them stored live as well, uh, which is absolutely fantastic for us. So being able to kind of not only report on figures and stats and everything like that, but being able to go, this is it right here, right now, um, which is great for us. Well, our marketing KPIs would take hours every month. We have to drill down into so much detail as to visitor numbers, where they've come from, how much time they've spent on the site, um, and, and more kind of internal things such as the uh, amount of customers in support, the amount of customers that might have lapsed that month or ceased trading. And I've built a dashboard now, where it took, took a little bit of time, but once it's done, it's live. And so I click on that every month, generate that report, and it's done within a matter of seconds. With those dashboards that we've created, we're able to view them in real time, uh, meaning that anybody in the business that has access to analytics, which is basically everybody, um, especially the senior leadership team, can click into those and access those with the live information and live data at any time. Um, we do produce them uh, in PDFs within one click. Uh, you can produce, depending on kind of what you are generating there, you can produce them in multiple different formats. Um, but it does mean that even if you have the paper copy from the day before, you can then click into it and see the changes and the live, live information. Zoho Analytics allows you to not only kind of have a default view, but 
thrive, you can thrive on how you want to work. Um, so when you're building your dashboard, it's got drag and drop functionality, so you can build it however you like. Um, it doesn't need to go in one, one precise format. So you've got, uh, some people uh, operate by looking at bar graphs, looking at pie charts, looking at numbers, looking at spreadsheets. So Zoho Analytics facilitates all of that, and you can bring that all into one place as well on one dashboard. If you do have the visual element of the, the bar graph or the pie chart and you kind of want to view that underlying data, you can click straight on it and see the numbers, the metrics and kind of delve even more into where it's kind of obtaining that information and to provide more insights and more metrics. The Zia function in analytics saved me, that point blank saved me. Um, there are complex sides of it. When you're trying to build reports that require so much data, um, being able to just ask Zia, the AI, I need this report in this for this date range and it generates it for you. I was absolutely blown away. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. And then once you've kind of generated that from Zia, dragging it straight into that report, it then shows you the underlying data where it's taken it from and everything like that is just absolutely phenomenal.